What's good, Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Jared. Y'all, today we're gonna be reviewing a video from MCR. Now, this one's about my generation of women. And this boy. Y'all older women keep on keep on failing these young women. And the problem is y'all are too damn stubborn to actually tell these these young women about about the problems of this whole strong independent I don't need man philosophy. Now today we're gonna be taking a look at MTR, as I said before, and this is gonna be a video of Fox business. So uh, let's let's get it. All right, folks. So the uh, the phrase "demography is destiny" destiny is attributed to French philosopher, also uh, the famed father of so sociology, Auguste Comte. Uh, and essentially, it means that you need to have a growing population to have a growing economy. With that in mind, take a look at this. This is the birth rate uh, of U.S. and United States. And I, I got to tell you, if the Whoa. statement, either that statement uh, Ugas made is a lie or this is going to catch up to us later. I happen to believe it's the latter. It will catch up to us later. So the question, of course, is can or will Gen Z come to the rescue? I want to bring in now New York Post columnist Ricky Schlott. All right, Ricky. Uh, the 65 and older crowd will be 37% of our population come 2040. We need you guys to come to the rescue. Yeah, I don't mm. have too much faith in us, unfortunately. I mean, right. statistically speaking, the majority of young people who are childless right now, 56% say that they just simply don't want children. It's not even that there is, it's a, a factor of circumstance. And I hear frequently from my friends, they're worried about bringing kids into a dying planet and a climate catastrophe right, right, right. or the state of the world right now. And so I think it's even a little bit more ideological with young people. 30% drop in the birth rate in the last 15 years is something to be alarmed about. But notice what the young lady said. She's got all these friends that complain about all of these different things within society. This is what happens when you create a fear-based victimhood environment that you promote the young people to dwell in. Because although we are the most abundant when it comes to society today in regards to shelter and to food, while at the same time having a lower crime rate than earlier in history, but yet the Gen Zers still think that we're in calamity. Thus, I don't want to bring a child into this type of world. Couple that with this being the age of information or more negatively, the age of distraction. Distracted via relationships, via the hub. Distracted via doom scrolling on your social media app of choice, overconsumption of video games mixed with the availability of short forms of content that can substitute for relationships, such as OnlyFans. We should all be very concerned. Let's continue. A professor in Japan. Now, Japan has always been ahead of us on this sort of uh, social media, internet kind of stuff. Uh, and, and these birth rate is uh, dropping. These, uh, these games where you take, become the person in the game. So he came up with a phrase called grass eaters. Mm -hmm. Essentially, it was the young men there rejected their parents. Their parents were proud. They would work for the same company for 50 years. They would do a yeah. two hour commute both ways. Uh, and they were really proud of that. Instead, these kids, they slept all day. Mm -hmm. They played video games all night. They immersed themselves into this yeah. world. What I'm saying. Their population is going to go from 120 million people to 80 million people. And about 50% of them said they have no interest in sex at all. The reason I bring Whoa. that up is you wrote a pretty provocative article. It's called When It Comes to Sex, My Generation is Screwed. I mean, is this a similar situation? Yeah, I mean, I think that one thing that we have here that's even worse is our partisan politics situation where we know that boys are going to the right and women are going to the left. Yes. And increasingly, they're saying that they refuse to date someone on the other side of the aisle. Yep. So more than half of women say that being a conservative is a red flag. More than half say listening to Joe Rogan is a red flag. And so I think we're kind of headed towards a demographical disaster if we can't bridge the divide, at least putting politics on the back burner for romance. Here's the problem with all of this, and I'm going to tell you from my perspective of me actually being a Gen Zer. Now, let me bring it back to voice only because I don't want to get distracted with the uh, with the um, video while I'm trying to make my point of view. My generation is a generation of a bunch of weirdos. What I mean by that is. People of my generation are focusing on all of the negative aspects and are lazy. There's a lot of people of my generation that are, are extremely lazy and they, as she stated, they pick up a video game instead of actually picking up something that's actually going to do something, act, instead of actually doing something that's going to make society better. Now... She also brought up the fact that a lot of women are on the liberal side of the aisle. 
that's a problem also because if you have men that are more conservative and women more liberal, two different those two different ideologies do not match at the end of the day. So you're gonna have two conflating ideals, ideologies trying to mesh well together. It's not going to mesh together well because there are too many differences, too many different thought processes, and too many different things that both of those individuals do not agree on. Now, as you can probably tell by my content and the way that I talk about a lot of these issues, I'm very much a man that's on the right I'm more conservative in my thought process, family first, God, well, God first, family second, and a lot of the foolishness that I see a lot nowadays, especially in my generation, a lot of other men are saying it too. This is not going to go well for anybody of any race for Gen Z. As long as the women have a ideal, a ideology of independence and um, have a mindset of I can do it all bad by myself and sexual liberation, this issue is going to persist even more. Now, the sad part is a lot of my generation will not have any children. So that's going to be a significant drop in the population between the age of between the ages around well between the next generation. Sorry, I'm checking my gun. It's clear, chambers clear, nothing. I have no ammo in my my mag in my mags, so. Before anybody says, oh my God, he's about to shoot somebody. No, it's not not me about to do anything. But this problem is becoming a bigger problem. And a lot of people are not seeing the consequences of what's about to happen. Taxes are going to increase. You ain't going to be able to do shit. The baby boomers or the silent generation, the last of the silent generation and the baby boomers are about to start, are about to start dying off. The silent generation, they've been passing. But the baby boomers are going to start passing soon. Then it's going to be Gen X. Then it's going to be Millennials. My generation is not going to have that many children. My generation is not going to have that many marriages. And the craziest part of this is there are going to be a lot more women that are going to be single than men. Whether that be passport, being a passport bro, going overseas and finding a wife, or men just completely checking out of the dating market. This specific graph that they are showing, that they are showing in this video, is showing... It's showing a big problem that's going on. And boy, all I got to say is this. Count your blessings because shit's about to get real, real fast. And my generation simply is not ready for that responsibility to hit them upside the head. Because that that hard ball is coming fast. And a lot of us, a lot of Gen Z don't see it. I just so happen to be one that does see it. But for the majority, they don't see it. All I'm going to say is this. To all of the Gen Xers and the, um, and the millennials that listen to this. And also the, the baby boomers that listen to this. If you got grandkids or you got kids that are my age, y'all need to pull them aside and actually tell them how this shit gonna go. 
because they going they going to fall hard and it, and it ain't going to be a pretty fall so warn them before that before this happens because the way this shit going it, it ain't going it ain't going to be pretty anyways guys like share subscribe channel put podcast on spot for the com i'll see you guys on the flip side and thank you guys for listening bye guys